You've probably noticed that Google does a little folk art on its homepage to mark special occasions. This is what Google looks like most of the time, of course. But here are some of the 2,000 special days that they change up the word Google with what they call a Google Doodle. Earth Day, of course, that's practically the new Christmas, isn't it? Google had a special doodle for the 42nd anniversary of a big bridge in Brazil. Wouldn't want to miss that. And of course, who would want to miss the 101st anniversary of the first traffic light? But today is D-Day, the anniversary of the day that Allied armies launched the largest seaborne invasion in history to free Europe from Nazi Germany. The United States, the United Kingdom, and Canada stormed ashore in Normandy, France. 150,000 soldiers, more than 4,000 died, but it was a decisive win for freedom, a turning point in history, the beginning of the liberation of Europe. And here's Google's page today. I spent some time poking around Google's archive of doodles. Today, June 6th, they're highlighting Teacher's Day in Bolivia. That was important enough to make the cut. You can search for doodles in their archive. I typed in Remembrance Day, and a handful of doodles showed up for various Commonwealth countries. But then I typed in Memorial Day. That's the day the United States remembers its war dead. Nothing, not a doodle, not once on any year. Why? Look, I don't need my important days validated by some overpaid doodler with a fake job. I know what days are important and aren't. I know who I am. D-Day is important to me because I love freedom. But this is just another reminder of who and what Google is. It's everywhere in our lives. It knows everything about us. But its own loyalties, politics, and values are far outside the mainstream. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.